Hello guys, I'm going to explain about the Shelby indicator which is based on the concept of golden pivot zone. Okay, I'm taking the Siemens 5 minutes chart and if you see here, the conditions required for this is there are two conditions required for bullish golden pivot zone. One is, let me turn off this weight. Turn off this. One condition is it should have the first the first five minutes candle should be above the pivot range CPR range should be above the pivot CPR range. See this is the first condition and it satisfies the first condition. Okay, and the second one is the candle should enter the BC should enter the busy zone. See this is BC of the CPR. See the candle enters here. If you take a look at this, the candle enters here and it enters here also. Okay, so it satisfies the two concepts. I will remove the drawings and now let me turn on these. Okay, and so it satisfies the first one, first two conditions. And how when to take the trade? See if you take a look at this. The candle enters inside the BC zone and it should have the support with any of the money control zone, money zones, any money zones or with the Camarilla pivots that is Camarilla pivot L3. See here it has the support of VAL, value low. See it has the support of VAL. So it is possible to take the, so this zone is called GP bullish. GPC. So we can take the trade from here. See, as soon as it satisfies all the conditions, see, you can see the bullishness here. It goes up, 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 and I am taking the target as previous day high. I saw many trades and it touches the previous day high easily. Okay, so it touches this target easily. And see here also, it, uh, it goes up, up, and I think probably tomorrow. It will go up and touch the previous day high. So this satisfied. So this is the first condition, and it satisfies the bullishness. Okay, let me tell you another chart, which is based on camera lap pivot, which has the support of camera lap pivot L3. Let's take Bank Nifty. I'm taking Bank Nifty. 29th July because it checked it and it worked. Yeah, yeah, see here 29th July. Let's see what happens. This is the first candy, first five minutes candle, and this is the CPR zone. And it is above the CPR zone, it takes in touch. So, condition 1 is satisfied, and the condition 2 is see here it touches the and it is in the I mean, it touches or it is in the BC BC of CPR. And here you can see the match. Let's include camera lap pivot, okay, and see here. See here, it has the so I told it satisfies condition one, and the condition two is it should be in BC zone. Along with it, it should have any support with the money zone or with the camera L3. So, no money zone comes here. So, this money zone is not valid as it is below BC. So, let's see. See, it has camera L3 support. Yes, see, this is L3, this is L4, and here comes L5. So it has the support of camera L3 and see it goes up, up, up and the next day it touches the previous day low. See. This is also one magic. Okay. This is based on camera and the previous thing is based on money zone. Okay. This is for bullishness. Let me tell you an example for bearishness. 
Where is GPZ? Let's take X side. I took the trade today. X side. See here. See this. Let me turn off once. Camera and the money source. Okay. See this. So this is the condition. So I told the condition for bullishness that the candle should be above. The CPR and for bearishness candle should be below the CPR. See first five minutes candle, it's below the CPR, so it satisfies the condition. First condition, and the second condition is it should go within the TC zone. So for bullishness, it should it should come with the BC zone, and for bearishness, it should go with the TC zone. So see here, it enters the TC zone. See this candle enters the TC zone and now for condition 2 we need a support see. first let's let's see if it has the support with any money zones no it didn't touch any money zone so this VAH VAH this money zone is here so it didn't touch it and the next money zone is here so this is for bullishness so it doesn't apply for bearishness okay let's check if any camera points touches it let's remove this and if you take a look at here see camera h3 it comes within this zone so there is a slight gap but we can consider this okay see as soon as it touches this it comes down 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 and reaches the target so for bullishness the target should be previous day high and for bearishness the target can be as previous day low or l3 it can be done so this one is for bearishness and let me tell you another one example which comprises of both. Let's see Colgate. This was today's trade. And see here, it's extremely powerful today. See, CPR, candle goes up, bullishness signal, and see, touches. BC along with it. Oh, one minute. Touches BC along with it. It has the support of money zone POC upper and along with it, it has another support. See here. Just take a look at this. See, it has the support of satisfied first condition, satisfied first condition, and second condition. See, it touches BC and it has the support of POC upper one money zone. And see here, these candles also are in BC zone and they have the support of Camarilla L3. And see, we have two confirmations here as soon as we see this see what happens so we told the target as previous day high it goes up 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 and see here it reaches the previous day high as target so these were the concepts of bullish gpz and bearish gpz thank you